No ma'am, there's no such thing as lizard people. That was just Clint Eastwood. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, private investigator for the new internet service, or Penis. And today, I'm investigating whether YouTube competitor Odyssey is in fact owned by Google, the same company that owns YouTube, as well as that traffic light company. Click the lights, okay, but does that square count? I mean, it's got a little bit of the traffic light in it. I just, I, I just wanna check my emails. Um, so, has Odyssey been pulling the wool over our eyes all this time? Well, I've been hired by Odyssey to find out the truth once and for all. I started my investigation the way any thorough journalist would nowadays. By clicking the first result, and here it is in black and white and all the other colours. An article by TechCrunch in February 2015 titled Google Acquires Odyssey, an app for, well, no, not private, uh, yeah, not so much photo, uh, video, backup, N no, sharing, there it is. Team joins Google, plus, oh, that doesn't exist anymore. Just focus on the Google part. Hmm, well, there might just be something to this mystery. Clicking the link in the article, it takes me to odyssey.com, which just so happens to be the homepage for odyssey.com, showcasing the greatest entertainment online, like pools, wrestling, and inter-axle differentials for 30 minutes. Well, you won't get that channel on cable. Okay, but that is what the website looks like today. In fact, some have suggested that this odyssey that Google bought was a totally different service owned by a totally different company. Who says that? Well, the guy in the article for one. Well, all right then, let's hop into a time machine to go all the way back to 2015. That's right. The Internet Archive's Wayback Machine just so happens to have a snapshot of the site on the day of the article, 2015. Oh my god. Just look at that logo. That is clearly Illuminati confirmed. Time's five. Huh, okay, this site looks very different and totally unrelated, but hang on, what's this? Open source license? Hmm, huh. Odyssey Today runs on open source. Maybe there's a clue here. <laughs> well, well, well. A short half-assed glimpse of the license page shows the powerful tech giant that's really pulling the strings. Nokia. Nokia. Could Google be owned by Nokia? All signs point to yes, but to get to the bottom of this, I have to go to the top, to the man in charge of Odyssey. CEO Jeremy Kaufman. Half man, half cow. Are you owned by Google? Nope. Are you owned by the Illuminati? No. Are you run by the government? We're being sued by the government. You made a video about it. I'm starting to think this penis isn't even a real detective agency. Hmm. It was becoming clear that I wasn't going to get a straight answer from the CEO. So I turned my eye to their chief marketing officer, Julian Chandra who, according to his company profile, looks like a magician. Now, Julian, according to my extensive research and witness testimony, the ball should be under the centre cup. I'm sorry, Sam. No! And there you have it. Proof that Google doesn't own Odyssey. Tune in next time when we'll show you that Epstein didn't commit suicide, but instead raped and murdered himself. Wow, that got pretty heavy at the end.